Hi everyone, this is Richard. This video is a documentation of my experiences in learning web programming using the Dart language. Dart is an excellent language, but there aren't really any good tutorials for beginners, and that's really unfortunate. What I'm finding as I'm learning along is that you have to go one place to learn something and then jump somewhere else and jump somewhere else, and you're constant I at least am constantly going back and forth trying to learn these things, and it makes things a big struggle. And so I'm making these videos in the hope that you can learn from my struggles and maybe struggle a little less than I did. If you don't know how to program at all, I'm going to actually refer you to my other series of Learn to Program in Dart, um, where I review the basics of programming from a complete beginner's point of view. You don't have to know any programming at all whatsoever. In this particular series, I'm going to assume that at, you at least know that much Dart, as in my previous videos. But I don't expect you to know anything at all about web programming itself. I'm also going to assume that you don't even know anything about HTML. All right, so I'm going to start from the very beginnings, and let's just start from the basics of web programming. A web application is basically any program that can be run in a browser. Okay, so I think that's pretty straightforward. This is opposed to desktop applications. So in other words, some applications you run in the desktop, you actually get a program, and that's what traditionally has been the case. You install it on the operating system, and then you run it from there. Web programs, you run web applications, you run it on the browser, right? So that's just very beginning. Dart, unlike some programming languages, doesn't actually have any what we call graphics libraries. So in my previous videos, we did everything from the command line. In other words, everything was just typing and just letters, numbers. There was no pictures or anything like that. Many programming languages you can install on the desktop because they have graphics capabilities. Dart does not. Dart relies on the browser in order to have any type of graphics. So you can actually say that, that the graphics API in Dart is the web programming. Okay, well, web programming relies on the, the browser as the graphics API. I think that's the best way to actually say it. So any type of graphics, at least at this point in time, must be done in the browser. And that was by design in the very beginning. It was meant to be a browser-based programming language. Okay, so I hope that's clear. That's the distinction between desktop applications and web applications. Of course, the web programming is what we do to make the web applications. Okay, I just want to start from the very beginning. Make sure we have our uh, terminology set. All web applications have three basic components to them. That's the HTML, the CSS, and the programming language. And almost always, these will be in separate files. Um, they'll be the name of the web application, .html, something dot CSS something dot, dot JS okay it's for JavaScript the HTML page the HTML component of the web application is basically the content of it okay so you'll have like um, dart web programming for beginners right and then you'll have enter your name enter your age your height I don't know weight whatever um, and then there'll be a submit button that you hit okay so all of those will be the content, and that will be like the HTML. HTML is kind of like the subject of the sentence, okay? It's, it's the what you this what is going on, okay? Then you have the CSS, which stands for Cascading Style Sheets. That basically says not what to display, but how to display it. For example, I want this Dart Web Programming to be bold, um, extra big font. I want it in green, okay? And then I want for beginners to be over here and I want a picture down here as opposed to over here and um, and things like that so it's not what you're displaying it's how you display it and and so CSS is this cascading style sheets is kind of like the adjective of a of a sentence okay it's not it's not the subject it describes the subject itself and then the programming language is going to be JavaScript, which is kind of like the verb. How does the web application act 
It's the action. It's what do you do? When you hit the submit button, what happens? When you enter text into the your age, what actually happens? It's how you interact with it. So the programming language um, in the web application is going to be JavaScript. Now I know this is about Dart, and, and so wait, what's going on right here, right? Well, because all web application, I'm sorry, all browsers have embedded in them a JavaScript virtual machine. All web browsers use JavaScript. That's why it's so popular. Um, what we will do is we will use Dart because I like Dart, and um, I will we, we will get the Dart programming language. We will get the code and convert it into JavaScript where it can be run on any browser. Um, we do have Dartium. Dartium is basically a um, so instead of having JavaScript virtual machine in a browser, they basically took Chromium, which is the open source version of Google's Chrome browser, and they inserted the Dart virtual machine inside of that instead of JavaScript. Now, this isn't an actual browser that you use. It is just one of those um, development tools that you can use it so it'll just save you a little bit of time. And it can be helpful in the, with respect to the um, ease of development, but you don't, it's not an actual browser in use. So it's not going to help us in when we're actually using it, the program in real time as an actual tool, as an actual application. Okay. So, so that's basically the fundamentals of using or I'm not using, but just creating and understanding a web application. We'll go over all these in just uh, in the next few videos. Just to let you know, when it comes to CSS, um, cascading style sheets, I'm not very good at that, and I'm just going to say out my limitation itself. So me personally, I like the functionality of web applications. I don't care how pretty it looks. So if this um, the the title is a little bit smaller, or it's a little bit here, and it's not indented, and it's not lined up correctly. I really don't care. And me, that doesn't bother me at all. So to to for for me to actually be really concerned about this and really study it, it hasn't it doesn't stick very well. And again, this is just me personally. I'm not saying it's a good thing. I'm just saying that's my weakness. So you'll if you'll understand that in, in the future that if I make some web applications that are rather ugly, okay, and you may say this is ridiculous. I'm going to apologize ahead of time, just understanding that this is where I'm coming from. But I don't think that's going to be so bad because uh, just just because at least the content will be good and at least the functionality will be good. Then you can take your time to make it pretty, which is important, I admit, to other people, just not to me, and that's perfectly fine. Um, but just keep that in mind. OK, so those are the fundamentals. We'll keep moving on from from concept to concept um, about making web applications in Dart. Thank you.